Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert trainer will be talking about Jira login and steps to create a new project. So let's get into the video. So here, if you could be able to see, before I explain to you anything in the Jira, what, how you have to create a Jira account, what you should be able to do, yeah. I will try to explain it to you. Okay. So first of all, you can go to your portal, any website, it may be it may be Google Chrome or it may be anything. Okay, whatever it may be. So what you can do is you can just say Jira login. The moment you say Jira login, right? What is that which you need to do here? Okay, so in this case, if you could see Jira login page will come. Okay, so now in the Jira login, you can just open this Jira login once over here. Okay, so the moment you click on Jira login here, right? So if I just scroll it down, you are getting something like, are you looking for Jira? Yes, I'm looking for it. So if you want to access your Jira site, you can please click on it. So what I will do here is I will be sharing this link in our chat box so that anybody can be able to go ahead and try to utilize it. It is a free account. So you don't need to worry about it. You will be totally getting a free account and you can play with it. When you go to your organization, right? there you will be having a super access like you can still create some more extra things at the organization level as of now for our demo we don't require all the things at least mandatory things if it is there that is more than enough we don't need to worry more than that okay so here if you see are you looking for jira if it is asking then say access your jira site the moment you click on access your jira site it may ask you to log in it may ask you to log in where you can put your credentials like your email ID and then your password. You can put it up and immediately you will be redirected to this page. Okay, Immediately you will be redirected to a page which I'm showing you right now. Now it is asking you, hey, as a Jira, I have all these things present here. What is that which you need? See, as a Jira service, I'm providing you all these products. Now select the one which you really require. Okay. And remember one thing, this Jira, whatever is present, right? It is being taken care by Atlassian company. Okay. Atlassian company is responsible for your Jira. So you should also be aware of this. So Jira, whatever is there, right? It is being created by the Atlassian. Okay. So now these are all are the products which are being available in the Jira. So now what is going to happen is you have to choose any one among them. So now what I want to use is a Jira software. Okay. Whenever you are going to select the products, make sure that you're selecting the Jira software instead of selecting any other things here. Okay. So now what I will do, I will click on my Jira software. The moment I come to this page, I will be clicking on a Jira software. The moment I click on Jira software, right? It is asking you. Okay, already I have one project present with me. Okay, so if you already have any projects, you will be able to see those projects here. But let me say if you don't have any project, then it will ask you to create a project. Without creating a project, you wouldn't be able to use either Scrum or any other things if you want to create on Jira, right? You will not be able to do anything until and unless you create a project in the Jira. So the first and foremost thing you have to do is you need to create a project so that you can be able to access everything inside it. So what is my first step? First step is I have to log into Jira and then I have to select the Jira software as my product. Once I select it, now I will be able to come to this page. The moment I have come to this page, it will ask me what is that which you require? So I am saying that, okay, if you want to access already your previous project, you can be able to do that. Or otherwise, if I want to create my own project, you can click at the right hand side. There is an option to create a project. So you can click on create project. The moment you click on create project, right? It will ask you, what is the model which you want to use? Are you, are you going to use Kanban? Are you going to use a scrum? Or are you going to use for bug tracking? But what is the course which we are you, like following right now is Scrum. So we are least bothered about Kanban or bug tracking as of now. 
So let's go with the scrum as of now. So immediately I will select the scrum as a template. Now it is asking, do you want to use the scrum as a template? Are you okay with that? See, if you use scrum as a template, right? You will get the issue type as epic, story, bug, task, subtask. You will get all these as your issue types when you are using the scrum template. And then your workflow will be to do. That means whatever stories which you still need to start, it will be to do. Whatever stories you are going to start and you are in progress, you will, it will show as in progress. Once your story is completed, then you can say it is done. That's it. So your scrum template, whatever is there, right? All these things are being highlighted here. Your issue types are being highlighted. Your workflow is set to be highlighted. And this is your total template. Okay, so you will have a backlog readily available for you. Like where as a product owner, you can put all your stories inside it. You can create your own sprints. You can able to check your velocity. All of these things will come as a ready-made thing for you. The moment you use your scrum as a template. Okay, this is one of the advantage with the scrum. Okay, so this is something which is said to be very important over here. Like way you can be able to see that everything with respect to the template is ready here. Only thing what you should be able to consider is here you should see if, like you just need to add this template whereas rest of all the things will come as a ready-made thing for you. Okay, so now I will say use the template here at the bottom. I will say use this template. Now it is asking me, hey, how do you want? Do you want a team managed one or do you want a company managed one? Okay, so now for this, you will be having some access issue. Okay, so you can just go through it. All these things company managed means you'll have your Jira administrators who will take care of everything here. Team managed means only team will take care of this Jira. Okay, so now if I scroll it down, you can just click on it. It is asking you. What is the name of the project which you want to add? So I will say, for example, this is my project two. Already I created my project one, right? I will say project two. Key can be anything. Okay, key can be anything. It's up to you. You can choose whatever key you want. That is totally fine. So I have added my project name here and then my key. Key can be any name, whatever you want to mention, no restrictions at all. Okay. And here you can, if you want to connect it to repositories, documents or any such things, you can also select it. Totally up to you. So what is that it is saying? I have selected a scrum template. I have chosen a team manage so the team can manage it rather than having a Jira admin over here. In your organization, you can have your Jira admin, but here you don't require it. And then your project name, whatever you want, you can add that as your project name. And then your key name, whatever key you want to put it up, you, it's up to you, you can add that key. And finally, you can say create a project. So the moment I click on create project, let's see what is going to happen over here. See here, my project got created. If you see, I got a P2 bold. What is a P2? It is a key. And my project name here is project two. See, there is a small arrow towards the extreme left hand side, a very small arrow. It says expand. If I click on it, right, it will expand the things. If you see here, this is my project name. That is my project two, which I created right now. Okay, this is my board. In my board, I don't have anything. Can anyone say me why I don't have anything in my board? I don't have any user stories present here. What is the reason behind? Can anyone say me? Like why there are no user stories or nothing is present here? Yes, we have not set up anything. That is right. Neither see uh, even the two people who have, who have pinged in the chat. Absolutely right. We have neither created any epic, nor we have created any user stories, nor we have assigned our team. Nothing we have done. So obviously you will not see anything. Only thing what we have done right now is we logged into Jira. We selected the Jira software. We created our own project. We created a scrum template. That's it. We did not do anything more than that. And this is the first and foremost prerequisite, which every one of you need to follow. Without creating the project, without selecting a scrum template, 
forget about epic and user stories you will never be able to do that okay in order to create epic user stories and all of the things you have to make sure that all things are being set up appropriately first for you and we are done with it we are done with our prerequisites how to log into jira okay what is the project which we have to create what is the template which we need to use so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if you want to have a deeper dive then we have something really special for you we have our free class on what is scrum master roles and responsibilities under this free class we cover what is agile in scrum what is a scrum master scrum master roles and responsibilities and a lot of things that will make you have a better career in this domain all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash scrum02 Click on register now, select an event date according to your availability, add your name, your email address, your phone number and click on yes save my seat. Moving ahead, you'll be seeing this kind of interface. Just save that link on the extreme right, add it to your calendars and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, take care and keep learning.